all thanks are to Allah, the Lord of two worlds, the nourisher and the sustainer. May the peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet and his companions. Respected Pro Chancellor Sir, Dr. Said Nadim Akhtar, Vice Chancellor Sir, Dr. Professor Akil Ahmad, the Director for Admission and Academics, Professor Muhammad Haris Siddiq, the Dean of Student Affairs, Professor Alam Khalid, MA Khalid, senior officials, faculty members, my fellow colleagues, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. My name is Abdullah Umar Abu Bakr, and of course, it's my pleasure to be a host on this beautiful morning right over here at Integral University Lucknow. On behalf of all Nigerian students, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. We appreciate you for taking the time of your busy schedules to join us here today. We hope that the exciting program we have laid out for you will be fulfilled and engaging. And now to kick off for this morning, it's my pleasure to invite Sheikh Mukhtar Milwom for opening prayers. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإن كنتم على سفر ولم تجدوا كاتبا فرهان مقبوطة فإن أمن بعضكم بعضا فليؤدي الذي من أمانته وليتق الله ربه ولا تكتموا الشهادة ومن يكتمها فإنه آثم قلبه والله بما تعملون عليم لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Physiotherapy, also known as physical therapy, is a healthcare profession which assists patients in rehabilitating of physical problems caused by illness, Injuries, disability, or aging through treatment. Radiography, regardless as the eye of medicine, is a medical imaging technique that uses X rays, gamma rays, eye laser, and non other radiations to view the internal part of the human body. Radiographers are warriors with invisible weapons who make it possible to look at the human body from within without having to put it out. Pharmacists, we provide primary and community health care. We distribute and dispense medicine. We manufacture quality medicines. We support and educate, research and innovate. We enforce no rules and regulations of medicine. We are pharmacists. We are your medicine experts. Hello world, let's talk about biotechnology. Our world is fueled and biology. And when we begin to understand it, it becomes a technology. A technology whereby the diseases are diagonal, but then are produced and then the same thing. Nurses are the head of healthcare systems as they include the promotion of health, prevention of illness, and care of ill, disabled, and dying people. 
we are living in a period where combining biomedicine and engineering is needed to answer many unsolved questions. Medical laboratory is the use of laboratory tests to detect, diagnose, monitor, and treat diseases in which blood and body fluid can be analyzed. Paramedics is the great model of healthcare system. No paramedics, no healthcare system. Care for all. Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, the theme of our program today is role of paramedics in healthcare system. The paramedic role is closely related to other health positions, especially the emergency and medical technicians, with paramedics often being at a higher grade with more responsibility and autonomy, following substantially greater education and training. But the primary role of paramedic is to stabilize people with life-threatening injuries and transport this patient to a higher level of care. Due to the nature of their jobs, paramedics work closely in many different environments, including roadways, hospitals, aircraft, and SWAT team during police operations. Paramedics also work in non-emergency situations, such as transporting chronically ill patients to treatment centers, and in some areas, address social determinant of health and provide in-home care to ill patients at risk of hospitalization, a practice known as community paramedicine. Throughout the evolution of pre-hospitalization care, there has been an ongoing association with military complex. One of the first indications of a formal process for managing injured people dated from the Imperial Legion of Rome, where the aging centurions no longer able to work were given the task of organizing and removal of wounded from the battlefield. To proceed, it has been long said that the backbones of healthcare system are nurses. They are playing a very crucial and important role in hospital. They are the first set of professionals that you will come across immediately you set your foot in almost every hospital around the world. One general fact about nurses is that you will always remember injection the moment you set your eyes on them. To a common man who has a limited knowledge of what hospitalization is all about, might think that nurses can only give injections to the patients and make beds. For this reason, I would like to call on Abu Bakr Usman, a third year nursing student to come on stage and tell us more about nursing and nurses at large, who they are, what they can do, and what they might be currently up to in the healthcare system. Honorable Pro Chancellor, sir, members of high tables, invited guests, my fellow colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and assalamu alaikum. It is with humility and immense gratitude to Almighty God that I stand on this podium to represent the Department of Nursing in Integral University, Lucknow, India. My name is Abu Bakar Usman. I'm here to deliver a speech which says the role of nurse in healthcare system. But before I proceed, I would like to highlight what is nursing. Nursing, nursing, are autonom nursing encompasses autonomous and collaborative care of individuals of all ages, including group, family, community, sick or well, and in all settings. This is what nursing is all about. So within a healthcare system, nurses mainly focus on helping the patient to meet their needs, including physical, social, emotional, cognitive, and spiritual. Nurses are there when the first breath is taken by ensuring that they save the life of new individual. And also nurses are there when the last breath is taken by giving hope to the terminally ill patient. Although it is more enjoyable to celebrate the death, but it is also important to provide comfort in death. Nurses plays a multiple roles in healthcare and hospital, depending on the unique need of the patient at a given time, such as nurse as communicator, Nurses are, the res nurses are responsible for communicating with the patient by clearing their doubts because if communication process is not effective, then healing process will be inhibited. Nurses as a patient safety. Nurses are patient safety because when the doctor visit or diagnosis, it is the responsibility of the nurse 
to prevent medical error and ensure that the patient takes the correct treatment at the right time, not as a patient care caregiver. Nurses act as a patient caregiver because they help in managing the physical need of the patient, preventing health illness, and uh, making sure that the patient is able to understand the proper treatment which he is taking. To do this, the nurse needs to observe and monitor the patient to record the relevant information which will help in treatment and decision making. To this, I will say that nurses take care of the patient in the hospital, just like the mother take care of her children at home. Nurse, nurse as health educator. Nurses are responsible for ensuring that the patient are able to understand their treatment, medical, medical illness, and uh, to the best of their ability. This is one of the essence during the discharge process because the nurse will make sure that she educates the patient that he will know how to take his medication even if when he is not in the hospital. Nurse as patient advocate. The patient is number one priority of the nurse because the role of the nurse is to advocate to the best interest of the patient. To maintain the patient dignity during the treatment process and care. In this, what I'm trying to say is that the nurse is always there to advocate to the patient and to make sure that the dignity of the patient is being maintained during the care or during the treatment. Then nurse as a researcher. The nurse applies a research on the bedside of the patient by providing intervention that are based on current evidence. Just take as example, the current situation we are in now, the uh, pandemic, which is the COVID-19. The nurses were there right from the first day when COVID-19 was announced, and they are still there till up to date, and they are involved in making research related to coronavirus and how to elevate anxiety to those patients who are affected and to elevate anxiety to the relatives of the patient. This is one of the main answers of nurse as a researcher. The fun nurse as manager. The fundamental to nursing practice is the role of nurse leader as manager. It involves pulling together people with common goal of caregiving. The nurse as a manager put effort to make sure that he provide people who are very effective in giving care to individual, the nurse as mentor. Mentoring another nurse is a professional means of passing along knowledge, skills, behavior, values to the less experienced individuals. In nursing profession, we have nurse as a teachers. A nurse is responsible to make sure that they mentor the less experienced individual who are coming up or who are trying to become nurses. So they elevate and give them the behavior because behavior and skills, this is one of the major thing that is important in nursing profession, which experience only we can relieve anxiety to the patient. In conclusion to my topic, nurses are assumed to, nurses are assumed a variety of roles and function such as caregiver, leader, change agent, teacher, manager, case manager, counselor, client advocate, research consumer, and more contemporary roles keep assuming in nursing profession. All I'm saying here is that caring is the essence of nursing. Once again, I still remain Abubakar Usman from Integral College of Nursing, Integral University, India, Lucknow, India. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Abu Bakr Usman. You just make me remember one quote about nurses. As a nurse, they might forget your name, but they will never forget how you make them feel. 
because a nurse has every opportunity to heal the heart, the mind, the soul, and body of patients. An estimated 70% of all decisions regarding patients' diagnosis and treatment, hospital admission and discharge are based on laboratory test results. And from what we know, medical laboratory scientists or technologists are the experts behind all the laboratory tests that are carried out in the hospitals. They can do more than that, but to clear our doubt, I would like to call on Naziru Salih Usman, a final year medical laboratory student to be on stage and tell us more about the quotation. Respected guests of honor, members of the higher table, organizing committee, participants, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nazido Salih, final year student from Integral University. Department of Medical Laboratory Technology. I am greeting you with the greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is my great honor and pleasure to stand in front of you to share with you a little bit more knowledge or impact of medical laboratory technology in the field of medical and paramedical science. The role and impact of medical laboratory in the field of science, society, and universal in general. Clinical laboratory play a multiple role. Clinical laboratory play a multiple vital role across the entire continuum of the healthcare. Clinical laboratory testing heavily impacts clinical decisions, making by providing by providing, by providing, by providing physicians, nurses, and other healthcare providers with an important information needed for the diagnosis, treatment, prevention, and management of disease. It was realized and estimated that 80 to 90 percent all decisions regarding patient diagnosis, treatment, hospital admission, and discharge are based on the test. That are based on the test clinical laboratory performs. Virtually every practicing or professional physicians depend on the clinical laboratory test for care of his for care of his or her patients. Clinical laboratories works to analyze and determine a variety of biological specimens. Areas of clinical laboratory include clinical hematology, clinical biochemistry, histopathology, cytopathology, blood bank, immunology and serologies, and molecular diagnostics. More than 4,000 different lab tests are available today for the clinical uses. Approximately 400 are ordered on a daily basis, which include SGPT, SGPT, SGOT, ALP, serum bilirubin, serum creatinine, Hemoglobin A1C, urine examinations, stool examination, uh, spittoon examination, blood examinations, hormone analysis, electrolyte analysis, semen analysis, gastric analysis, and lipid profile test. I know someone is going to ask himself who performed the various scientific tests mentioned above. Hold on, let me clear the doubt of your mind. Answer to your question is a medical laboratory, a medical laboratory scientist and medical laboratory technician. They are responsible for performing scientific tests. They are, respons they are responsible for performing scientific tests on patient samples and report results to the physicians. Medical laboratory scientists perform a complex test on patient sample using sophisticated equipment like microscope, cell counter, semi-auto analyzer, and full auto analyzer, and full analyzer PCR machine, ELISA machine, spectrophotometer, microtome, among the others. The data they found play an important role the data they found play an important role in treatment and identifying renal disease, heart disease, liver disease, leukemia, 
cancer, diabetes, microbial infection, arterial sclerosis, hematological disorder, and other medical conditions. Medical lab, medical laboratory scientists have a variety of responsibility and duty. Problem collaborate very closely with physicians and other um, collaborate very close with physicians and medical, medical laboratory technicians in diagnosis and monitoring the disease process as well as effectiveness of the therapy. Maintain patient outcome, prepare, the, prepare and determine blood type for transfusions, operate and utilize microscope, telecounter, analyzer, and other high preserve lab equipment. Medical laboratory scientists also examine, determine, and analyze body fluid, blood, cell, tissue in, in ab, for abnormal and normal conditions. In case of bacterial infection, virus infection, parasitic infection, fungal infection, and immunological infection. Maintain competent in lab information system that is crucial to the quality operation, operation in lab and patient care. Relying test results to the physicians. Actively participate in quality improvement program to ensure that the lab tests are accurately, timely, and meet the customer needs. Culture and identify microorganisms. Determine antibody sensitivity, sensitivity tests. Analyze patient tissue to determine the presence of pre-existing or new plastic genetic conditions. Study blood cells and determine study blood cells and their formation in the health and diseases. Investigation, coagulation factors, and disorder. Medical laboratory scientists play a multiple role and give a major contribution toward diagnosis and prevention in case of global pandemic diseases. Severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS 2019, which caused coronavirus infection, which also called, which also named by who World Health Organization as COVID-19. Finally, areas of areas where medical laboratory scientists works include hospital, clinic, forensic, public health, as well as pharmaceutical industry, biotechnology companies, and other research industry. We medical laboratory scientists and medical laboratory technicians are the basics, fundamental structures and functional units of diagnosis and prevent from the spread of diseases or any kind of infections. I conclude my words. We medical laboratory scientists are the root and heart of the diagnosis. And also we are the root and the heart of the hospital. Once again, my name is Nadir Salu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much, Naziru Salehu. One of the most important field of science in this century is bioengineering. Bioengineers design electrical circuits, software to run medical equipment, or computer stimulations to test new therapies. Beside, they design and build artificial body parts in some cases. They develop the material needed to make the body parts replacement. May I have Hassan Usman, a third year biomedical engineering student, be on stage and tell us more about biomedical engineering? Honorable Pro Chancellor Dr. Najim Haftar, sir. Our honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, good day to you all. My name is Hassan Osman, a third year student of BTEC Biomedical Engineering. It is indeed a great pleasure and honor given to me to stand here before you and present to you the role of biomedical engineering in healthcare system. But before I proceed, let me begin with the introduction of what is biomedical engineering and who are biomedical engineers. Biomedical engineering is the application of engineering principles and biological principles in healthcare system. And those who study biomedical engineering at degree level are considered as biomedical engineers. Similarly, before I proceed, let's look into the diversion of healthcare system. There are many fields in healthcare system, but among them all, all of them are for the humanity's sake. But 
the most known profession, the common man, are two people. Who are they? The doctor and the nurse. What about others? And particularly, what about the biomedical engineers? Who are we? What do we do in the, in the healthcare system? If you meet a radiographer, he will boast and tell you that we are heroes with invisible weapons that we could be able to see inside the human body without hurting it. Similarly, the medical laboratory technician will tell you that we are heroes who are capable of diagnosing or who are capable of seeing those tiny microorganisms which could not be seen by naked eye that serve as terminal to the life of humans. But how do they do this? Is it a miracle? Is it a magic? No. It is by the help of equipment. And besides this, nobody questions who are responsible for this equipment, who manufactured this equipment, and who brought the idea of even using this equipment to save human lives. Now, the role of those who design this equipment, who manufacture them, who take care of them, is the role that I, biomedical engineer, do. And from among the roles that, as a biomedical engineer, I do is that I provide hope for the patient. What sort of hope? Do I give life? No. Do I give injections? No, 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 I don't do that. It is not my job. It is the job of the nurse. But I would like to give you an illustration of what sort of hope I give to the patient. And right now, I'm going to display to you a case scenario of two patients who are amputees. And they have been to the hospital. The nurses have performed the care that is needed. The radiographer has viewed the hand and it is broken into two pieces. There is no option. The doctor said, no, this hand must be amputated. And at the end of the day, it was amputated. And this patient will keep on living his life in misery. Similarly, the next patient standing behind, uh, beside me is someone who lost his air lobe. And you know, as a handsome man like this, he would not like to be in a situation where he, he's incomplete. Because most of the ladies wouldn't prefer, prefer him where there are other guys with two ear lobes. Because he seems like an alien. Isn't it right? But no. As a biomedical engineer, I said no. Gone are the days where you can lose your hand and keep living in misery. Also gone are the days where you lose your ear lobes. And that is where I use the biological principle in this case to manipulate his stem cells put in, in a scaffold, and provide a new, sufficient, capable, user-friendly ear lobe that is natural. It works with his own body system. Similarly, to this patient also, who is an amputee, who lost his arm, he could, he could not do many jobs that a complete human being can do because he has only one hand. But I make a prosthetic which is user-friendly, most effective, construct it, and put it on his and, and it will work efficiently. It has, done, it has been done for so many times, and it works. So this is among the roles I play as a biomedical engineer. I give you hope, and this is the kind of hope I give to the patients. And furthermore, as a biomedical engineer, we design systems and products such as artificial internal organs, like the artificial kidney, and we design systems and products such as artificial devices that replaces human body parts. Just like the example I illustrated to you now, the, the hand, pro the prosthetics, the limb prosthetics, which could serve as an alternative to the real hand. And similarly, the previous video we watched now, what was the topic of the video? It was about hip atroplasty. And who was the, 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 the hero who provide this hip atroplasty? Who was that hero? It was the biomedical engineer. He was the one who gave this hip atroplasty. And then 
from among the, from among, from among the roles I play as a biomedical engineer is that we adjust, we install, we repair, we maintain, and we provide technical support for medical equipment. And we evaluate safety, efficiency, and effectiveness of all the medical equipment used in hospital. And then one of the most fascinating one from among the roles that I do as a biomedical engineer is that just like other professionals could boast that I as a nurse, I can be able to put this patient under ventilator and he could be assessed by this ventilator. I could be able to see his electrical conductivity of his heart. But how does it work? I, as a biomedical engineer, I train them. I train them how to use this equipment. If I manufacture this equipment, they didn't have any clue of what these equipment are used for. Because someone who don't know about electricity, someone who don't even know about an iota of what is radiation, how could he protect himself from the radiation hazard of these equipment? So it is my role. I teach them how to be safe from this equipment that I designed by myself. And then lastly, I want to say, time is insufficient to illustrate to you all the roles that I play as a biomedical engineer. But with this, I want to end here. And once again, thank you all for your distinct care and, and uh, cooperation. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much, engineer. It's a general fact that biomedical engineers are the gurus behind manufacturing of so many equipment in the hospital. But in some cases, they might not get authorization to operate those kind of machines. The gurus behind the operation of such kind of high-tech machines are radiographers, the gurus of electromagnetic radiation. May I have the pleasure to invite Al Mustafa Abu Bakr Amanawa to be on stage and tell us more about radiology? All protocols duly observed. <coughs> It's mandatory to give honor to whom the honor is given to. All praises and thanks are due to Allah, the Almighty, Almighty the most beneficial, the omnipresence. May his peace, blessings be upon his noble prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, till the day of resurrection. It is an honor to be here today to get to partake in an event like this, which means so much to everyone in this room in many ways. Today represents the beginning of a new journey for us all. Not just of the mountains of papers and trees, oh, the thousands of miles we have traveled to get here. Today also represents a day we will let the world know about the roles we play as paramedics in healthcare system. We have completed a major milestone, but this is only one stop part of our journey as paramedics. I'm delighted to experience this with you all, and congratulations. Standing before you today is Abu Bakr Mustafa Amanawa, a final year student from the Department of Radio Imaging and Diagnosing Technology, to talk about the role of to talk about the role of the warriors with invisible weapons, those whose mission is outlining an invisible medical disorder, those whose troops have specialists that are ready to fight at any point. The band of warriors who are trained to take shots at every point. The only revealers of disease hide out because they capture at all points. The only ones who provide cancer treatments. These are none but the radiographers. Radiography is the limelight of modern medical practices. Over the years, medicine has gone through a lot of revolutions 
mind-blowing discoveries and jaw-dropping inventors. However, none can be compared to the game-changing discovery of X-rays by a German physicist, Professor William Correct Rentigen on November 8, 1895. Rentigen's discovery doesn't only earn him a Nobel Prize in physics, but also marked a great milestone in medicine. Since its discovery, X-rays have been used in many fields more outstandingly in medical practices. It has brought about precision in medical diagnosis, plays vital therapeutic roles, and has vast interventional applications. It's made it possible to look at the human body from within without having to cut it open. Radiographers are the inter internationally recognized custodians of X-rays. They are trained professionals who utilize ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. For who utilizes ionizing and non-ionizing radiation for diagnostic, therapeutic, and interventional purposes. Rentigen's discovery paved way for many incredible discoveries in medical imaging. Radiography is no longer limited to the traditional method of image acquisition using X-rays and image receptors. It has skyrocketed to the application of many other ionizing and non-ionizing radiation for medical uses. It involves the use of fancy yet sophisticated machines like the magnetic resonance machine, MRI, computed tomography, that is the CT scan, computer or the computed axial tomography, CATs, gamma cameras, ultrasound, PET scanner, SPET scanners, and many more. Regarded as the eye of medicine, radiography today is necessity in every healthcare facility. It is like the light that is needed to guide the doctor down the dark street of medical diagnosis and treatments. Today, radiographers are involved in almost every step of patient care in the hospital. They are the, at the forefront of medical diagnosis and treatment. They help assess patient well-being, diagnose all sorts of conditions affecting the internal organ. They assess the well-being of a pregnant lady and her child. Sometimes even tell the baby's gender who will write With the help of radiographers, all forms of cancers can be treated and uh, can be detected and treated. In the case of malignants, that is the untreatable ones, the radiographers help assess its margin for a more precise surgical removal. They said, and I cut, neither the doctor, nor the, uh, nor the pharmacist, nor the physiotherapist, nor the biotechnologist, nor the lab technologist, nor the biomedical engineer, nor the nurse, nor the dentist, no, the ophthalmologist that treats cancer, but rather the radiographers. They are the big role players in patient surgical journey. Radiography as a field is vast and fast growing. It is arguably the fastest growing profession with lots and lots of cooler inventions. Aimed to further simplify medical practices, radiographers are undoubtedly an integral part of medical team whose role cannot in any way be overemphasized. The radiographers also operate mammography machine for breast imaging to detect early cancer, fluoroscopy machine for real-time X-ray to see the real-life situations in the body. Radiographer who specialize in nuclear medicine carry out both diagnostic and therapeutic procedures using scintigraphy, tomography, DEXA machine, PEC scanner, SPEC scanner. Radiographers also carry out some special investigation like the HSG test, that is the hysterosalpingography to outline the internal shape of the uterus and see if the fallopian tubes are blocked. Also, there are some special investigations like barium enema, barium swallow, BMFT, IBT, IBE, sinogram, histogram, xylography, laryngography, among many others. And uh, they also provide a treatment in some of these special investigations. Medical imaging is the oracle of medicine with which the impression of physician can be confirmed or refuted. At this juncture, I remember of a day when a patient was sent to our radiology department. To the assumption of the doctor, the patient swallowed a coin, but once we uh, 
uh, expose the patient, we observed that there was no any coin. With which, if there could, uh, if there, there were no radiographers, the, the doctor have to cut the, the, the patient. But with the radiographers, it, uh, it has limited the cutting. We just X-ray, uh, we just expose him and understand that it is not uh, a coin. Medical, uh, and by the way, the presence of a radiographer minimizes the risk from cancer if you are exposed to ionizing radiation. Don't subject yourself to imaging without being sure a radiographer is available. Whoever is there, if he is not a radiographer, don't subject yourself to imaging modalities because he has nothing to do there. Lastly, permit me to call the attention of the general public that not everyone out there who is operating radiological equipment is a radiographer. There are quacks everywhere. As a patient or relation to one, it is your right to be sure that you are being attended by, a, by appropriate personnel. If they do not have NM tags and their profession clearly and the last one on their gowns, please ask questions to be sure to be safe. Thank you. I am Mustafa Amana by name. Thank you very much, Al Mustafa Abu Bakr Amana, and thanks to the discoverer of X ray who was able to find eyes to the hospital. FAMB is a professional degree program that is essential for candidates who want to practice pharmacy. The program covers uses, production, and application of medicines with respect to diseases that the patient is suffering. I will humbly like to invite Salama to Salih Osman to be on stage and tell us more about. Respected guests of honor, organizing committee, friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'm by name Salamut Sali Usman, standing here before you this morning to share with you the roles of clinical pharmacists in healthcare field. Before I begin, I would like to introduce the clinical pharmacist. What is, what clinical pharmacist is all about? Clinical pharmacy is a branch of pharmacy in which a pharmacist provides direct patient care that optimizes the use of medication and promotes health, wellness, and disease prevention. According to WHO, clinical pharmacists are the experts in the therapeutic use of medicines in healthcare care team and may perform various tasks, including evaluating medication therapy and making appropriate recommendations to patients or healthcare practitioners. History of clinical pharmacists. The term clinical pharmacy was first used in 1953. The concept of clinical or pharmacology started with two incidents. Firstly, in 1962, the thalidomide tragedy, when in, in it was found that consumption of thalidomide, which is rampantly used to treat morning sickness in pregnant women, resulted in birth defects of babies with sealed limbs. Secondly, in 1968, phenotrin toxicity causing dental problem was reported in, in Australia, which was because of changes in formulation, that is, switching over from calcium sulfate to lactose as an inlet excipient in the tablet. Who is a clinical pharmacist? Clinical pharmacy defined as the branch of pharmaceutical science dealing with utilization of pharmacist knowledge, skills, and judgment related to biomedical and pharmaceutical science to prove the safety, cost, and precision of drug usage in the patient care. However, clinical pharmacists are specialty trained practitioners who provide direct patient care and comprehensive medication management. Moreover, clinical pharmacists are the pharmacists that provide clinical services and work in liaison with physicians and attend ward rounds, contribute to advanced drug reaction, monitoring therapy, treatment chart review, making suggestions in therapy, and many more. 
scope of clinical pharmacist, drug information. A clinical pharmacist and drug information may contribute to balance the efficacy of medicines and reduce the risk of drug therapy for each patient. Drug utilization review. It involves a comprehensive review of patient prescription and medication data before, during, and after dispensing to ensure appropriate medication decision making and positive patient outcome. Drug evaluation and selection, medication therapy management, formal education and training programs, disease management, and etc. Clinical pharmacy specialist. Clinical pharmacist requires residency in a specialty area in addition to a pharmacy residency. It usually has teachings and all research responsibilities. They represent pharmacy for medication use meetings. Committees in specialty areas such as ambulatory care, drug information, geriatric and long-term care, gastroenterology, rheumatology, cardiology, ICU, nuclear pharmacy, advanced drug reaction, investigational drugs, and et cetera. Some duties of clinical pharmacists to ensure that the medicine prescribed to the patient are suitable, to advise the patient about medicines, including how to take the medicines, time interval between the doses, possible side effects, drug interaction, and answering patient questions. It is also a, a duty of a clinical pharmacist to advise other healthcare professionals about safe and effective medication use. Pharmacists should consult patients on smoking cessation to those patients who smoke and provide various checkup services. Goals of clinical pharmacists to promote the correct and appropriate use of medical products and devices, to help maximize the clinical effect of medicines, to minimize the risk of treatment induced adverse effects. To, man, to minimize the expenditure for pharmacological treatment, achieving, achieving optimal health outcome of the patient, which is the ultimate goal. Roles of clinical pharmacists in current scenario, social awareness and academics, important awareness regarding COVID-19 via study materials on various channels or, so, or social networking sites. Pharmacists should create various groups and take up the frequent asked questions of the society. This will help in reputing the biggest challenge of hue and cry amidst the unforeseen situation. Pharmacovigilance, drug surveillance. Pharmacists have a critical role in ensuring the safety of the patient in terms of convincing them to avoid any type of self-medication or any overdosage, which may lead to medication error, like hydroxychloroquine toxicity. And if noticeable, such reports should be directly communicated to drug regulatory authorities so that effective measures could be initiated. Research and development. Pharmacists are the unsung heroes of the Department of Designing and Development of Novel Molecules. The basis of COVID-19 treatment was only initiated from the de development of new molecules, which could somewhere interrupt the life cycle of virulence of coronavirus. Pharmacists, in collaboration with other scientists like biotechnologists and genetic engineers, should get involved in vaccination development programs. Clinical pharmacists develop or identify the core pharmacotherapy plan. They also identify prime pharmacotherapy problems. A clinical pharmacist activities may influence the correct use of medication at three different levels before, during, and after the prescription is written. We remain loyal pharmacists, your medicine expert. Thank you. Thank you very much, Salamaki. Physiotherapy can be defined as a treatment method that focuses on the science of movement and helps people to restore, maintain, and maximize their physical strength, function, motion, and overall well-being by addressing the underlying physical issues. Can we have Abdul Hamid Muhammad Usmaldi on stage and tell us more about physiotherapy and physiotherapists? Our respected guests of honor, members of Hyatt Table, our great speakers, 
Presidential Organizing Committee, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm by name Abdul Hamid Usman Muhammad, a Sajja student of Guru Tarak Yasin Kutum University of Lucknow. It is my pleasure and honor to stand here before you as a representative of my department to give a speech on the role of Guru Tarakhi in healthcare system. But before we start, do you know that Guru Tarakhi manage women's health, Guru Tarakhi manage diabetes and vascular conditions, Guru Tarakhi also manage heart and kidney disease, Guru Tarakhi also helps alleviate pain and also helps you avoid surgery. But what is this Guru Tarakhi? Physiotherapy means physical fitness. Physiotherapy helps individuals of all ages who have medical conditions, illness, or injuries that limit their regular activities to move and function. Physiotherapy is also known as physical therapy. It's a medical health profession concerned with assessment, diagnosis, treatment of diseases, and disabilities through physical means. It provides services to individuals to develop, maintain, restore maximum movement, increasing of motion of joints, strengthen the muscles, and maintain the correct posture of the body. According to World Confederation of Physical Therapy, physiotherapy concerned with uh, identifying and maximizing the quality of life and movement potential within the sphere of promotion, prevention, treatment, habilitation, and rehabilitation. Physiotherapist doctor plays a vital role in different medical fields like in orthopedics, in neurology, in cardiopulmonary, in gynecology, in sports, in geriatrics, and in pediatrics. With this, I would like to give you some reasons why physical therapy is important in medical field and also beneficial to your health. Physiotherapy helps eliminate pain. Therapeutic exercises and the manual therapy techniques such as joint or sub-tissue mobilization or treatments such as ultrasound, taping, SWD, IFT can help to relieve pain and such therapy can prevent pain from returning. Physiotherapy also helps avoid surgery. If physical therapy helps you eliminate pain or heal from an injury, then surgery may not be needed. But even if surgery is required, you may benefit from pre-surgery physical therapy because if you're going into a surgery stronger and in better shape, you will recover faster. Afterwards, in many cases, physiotherapy also helps to improve mobility. If you are having any trouble while walking, standing, moving, or any other function, no matter what your age is, physical therapy can help. Stretching and strengthening exercise can help to restore your ability to move. And physical therapy can probably treat individuals with crunches, walker, cane, or any other excessive devices. Physiotherapy also manages diabetes and vascular condition. As part of an overall diabetes management plan, exercise helps effectively control blood sugar. And people with diabetes may have problems of sensation on their feet and legs. Physical therapy can help to provide and educate those patients on a proper foot care, which will prevent them from further injuries down the road. Physiotherapy also manages heart and pulmonary diseases. While patients may complete cardiac rehabilitation after heart attack or condition, physical therapy can help if your daily functioning is affected. And for pulmonary problems, Physiotherapy helps Im improve quality of life through conditioning, breathing exercises, uh, and also physical therapy helps you clear fluid in the lungs. Physiotherapy also manages women's health and other conditions. Women have a specific health concern such as with pregnancy and postpartum care. Physiotherapy helps to provide a specialized treatment for bowel incontinence, breast cancer, constipation, fibromyalgia, lymphedema, male pelvic health, pelvic pain, and urinary incontinence. When it comes to COVID patients, physiotherapy also plays a great impact, like uh, active cycle in uh, like uh, improving airway secretion, increasing lung volume, uh, improved airway secretion, uh, instruction for breathing exercise, like active circle of breathing techniques, dry flow use, and granite positioning. Lastly, I would like to conclude my speech by answering this question, what a physiotherapist can do. Physiotherapist is a patient guider and treatment provider, function restorer and treatment explorer, 
pain reducer and energy producer, joint adjuster and inflammation buster, movement corrector and problem detector, posture improver and forward neck remover, sport returner and extra weight burner. Did that like this will be? Thank you. Biotechnology is the use of biology to solve problems and make usable products. The most important prominent area of biotechnology is the production of therapeutic proteins and other drugs through genetic engineering. It is one of the most important scientific field of this century, if not the most important. Biotechnologists are currently doing a super and incredibly amazing research in the field of science and medicine. May I have Salahuddin Abdullahi, a third year biotechnology student, to be on stage and shed a light on what biotechnology is. Respected guest of honor, upper and lower division of event organizers, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen, viewer at home, good morning to you all in general. I am Salahuddin Abdullah, co-speaker from Department of BTEC Biotechnology, Faculty of Engineering. It is a great honor and pleasure to share with you in acknowledged to the topic role of paramedics in healthcare system. Before going to the main topic of discussion, it is very important to know the term biotechnology and its definition. Well, as per the biotechnology concern, biotechnology is the amalgamative and integrative words of bio and technology, where as per the scientific definition of bio, derived from Greek, means life, or living thing, and that of technology also derived from Greek. Also derived from Greek word, Tekken and Logia, where Tekken means art, skills, cunning of hand, and Logia also means study. Therefore, technology is the sum total of skills, technique, method, and processes used in the accomplishment of objective such scientific investigation, whereas biotechnology encompasses the exploitation of living processes, systems, <laughs> organs, tissues, cells, and their derivatives in the manufacturing of products intended to improve the quality of human life in both pharmaceutically, medically, diagnostically, environmentally, agriculturally, as well as forensically. Coming back to the point of discussion, Coming back to the point of discussion, the role of paramedics in healthcare system. So specifically talking about the medical, pharmaceutical, diagnostical, and forensical infactivation of biotechnology in healthcare system. Biotechnology infactivated the healthcare system through supplementary, through production of replacementative and supplementative molecules, such as hormones, proteins, enzyme, drugs, tissues, cells, and organs, as well as in the production of well-mechanized vaccine. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be formative and instructive to share with you a few examples of biotechnological products, their trade name, and their uses in the field of healthcare sector. One, we have insulin. Its trade name is humulin where humulin as a supplement is used in the treatment of diabetes for diabetic patient. Second, we have tissue plasminogens activator. Its trade name is Activis, where Activis is used in the treatment of myocardial infection. We have DNAs, 
its trade name is pulmozyme, where pulmozyme as a specific disease therapy is used in the treatment of cystic fibrosis. We have hepatitis B vaccine. Its trade name is Reconvivax HB, where Reconvivax HB as a vaccine is used in the prevention of hepatitis B virus. We have Laronides. Its trade name is Aldurazyme, where Aldurazyme as a supplement is used in the treatment of, is used in enzyme replacement therapy for mucopolysaccharidosis 1. We have Galsolpes. Its trade name is Neglizyme, where Neglizyme as a supplement is used in enzyme replacement therapy for mucopolysaccharidosis 6. Last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, we have imiglucerase. Its trade name is serozyme, where serozyme is used in the treatment of type 1 Gosha diseases. Ladies and gentlemen, just like the use of longitude and latitude in information technology has led the Google map that enables people to get detailed information of a particular location, biotechnology uses the sequence of nucleotides Content texiparin, the curing of an incurable diseases caused by gene in the genome of living in the genome of living organisms by mutating the sequence of a nucleotide, thereby hijacking the defective ones that brought about missense point and premship mutation and carried out its function. Ladies and gentlemen, in view to the recent discussed points, biotechnology has led the production of drug that are best suited to an individual genetic makeup, which, which can be applied in a diseases such as cancer, amyotropic lateral sclerosis, depression, asthma, and so on. Medical diagnosis, biotechnology also play a vital role in medical, in medical diagnosis because many times the pathogen concentration increases by the time disease is diagnosed. Therefore, early diagnosis and knowledge of parophysiology are essential for proper cure, and that can be achieved through a technique such as recombinant DNA technology, PCR, which acronyms polymerase chain reaction, ELISA, which pronounce ELISA and acronyms enzyme link immunosorbent assay. Ladies and gentlemen, time willing to allow me to concur even 3% of the role biotechnology play in healthcare sector. But with due impression, I would like to share with you a delightful story of approval of CRISPR-Cas9 technology, which acronyms clustered regularly interspace short palindromic refits, whereby through this technology, a gene can be edited, a gene can be copied and pasted, a gene can be cut and pasted, a gene can be eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, a gene can even be deactivated entirely. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say biotechnology revolutionizes, not even revolutionizes, but modernizes the healthcare sector through architecturing the designation of diseases caused or driving from gene. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you very much, engineer. Okay. There are lots of misconceptions about pharmacy and pharmacist. A layman might think that pharmacists can only give or prescribe medicines to the patient. But what they do is more than that. Let me use this medium to call on Abdul Hakam Usman, a third year pharmacy student, to be on the stage and tell us more about pharmacy. Respected chief guests of honor, other members of staff from various faculties and departments, organizing committee of this great and remarkable program 
organized by Nigerian Students Integral University. My colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to one and all. I am by name Abdul Hakam Usman from the Faculty of Pharmacy, a third year student in BFAM. Standing here before you on this beautiful hours of this great and remarkable program organized by Nigerian students, Integral University to talk on role of pharmacists in the healthcare system and the support they are offering to end COVID-19. But before going in deep, deep into the topic proper, let's everyone understand what is pharmacy profession and who is a pharmacist. A pharmacy is a branch of science that deals with the preparation, dosing, dispensing, and the studying effect of medicine on human being. A person who deals with a pharmacy or a graduate in pharmacy is called a pharmacist. Pharmacists act as a link between the doctors and their patients. The main reason why I started by telling us this is because the knowledge of every layman regarding pharmacists is very limited one. What do they think about pharmacists? What if every layman think is pharmacist is a person who only dispenses a prescribed medicines by a registered medical practitioner? Before I got enrolled into the course of pharmacy, I also shared this same thought, which says the role of pharmacists in the healthcare system is only to dispense a prescribed medicines by a registered medical practitioner. But I came to know that this is not the case. Because if we see in our society, a pharmacist has to perform various critical roles in maintaining the health of a patient in a healthcare system. He or she is considered as a specialist in medication. Pharmacist is a good companion of all the healthcare system or all the healthcare members by distributing or dispensing a drugs. Pharmacists also perform a role of counseling to the patient by giving him a very good information about his medication and his health. And by doing this, he or she works as a guardian of public health. A very common wrong notion in every society is that whenever a pharmacist introduces his or her profession to the people, people often ask a question by saying, are you going to run a pharmacy or a medical shop? And as soon, they end their question by replacing a big question mark. By doing this, they actually stop thinking much about a pharmacy profession. Although, running a pharmacy shop or a medical shop will be an option for every community pharmacist, but that is certainly not a limit one. Because the role of pharmacists in the healthcare system can never be estimated. But now, in order to clear all your misconceptions regarding pharmacists and their profession, let's talk about a few different fields or a few different places where a pharma graduate can work. To start with the community pharmacist. As a community pharmacist, pharmacists can evaluate a patient's drug-related needs. He or she can also determine whether the patient has any actual or potential drug-related problems. Community pharmacists can also work with other healthcare professions in order to design, implement, and then monitor a therapeutic plan that could resolve or prevent a problem. Pharmacists can also work as a hospital pharmacist. You may have visited and seen lots of pharmacy shops or medical stores in a hospital. And the pharmacist working in that pharmacy shop or a medical store, you see, is called a hospital pharmacist. These pharmacists are the best informed individuals for drug prescriptions. In most of the Western countries, the diagnosis is done by the doctors. But the pharmacist decides the medicine and their dosage. Therefore, a pharma graduate can play a vital role and they can occupy a very, very important position in their career. Pharmacists can also work as a clinical pharmacist, where he or she provides direct patient care that optimizes the use of medication and promotes the health, wellness, and disease prevention. Clinical pharmacists often work in collaboration with other physicians, physician assistants, nurses, or other healthcare professions for the betterment of their patients. Clinical pharmacists can also choose to become a board certified member through the Board of Pharmacy Specialties, which certifies pharmacists in the following specialties like ambulatory care pharmacists, oncology pharmacists, pediatric pharmacists, geriatric pharmacists, clinical critical care pharmacists, pharmacotherapy of infectious disease pharmacists, transplant pharmacists, cardiology pharmacists, and the psychiatric pharmacists. Pharmacists can also work in regulatory bodies. These regulatory bodies are the ones that regulate and control medicines. When we talk about clinical research settings, a pharma graduate will have a key role in developing new drugs in both preclinical and the clinical trials for testing critical diseases and for ensuring safety and the efficacy of that drugs before releasing it into the market. Now, let's talk about industry settings, where a pharmacy graduate can work as an industrial pharmacist. Industrial pharmacists are the ones that are responsible for manufacturing of different biotechnological products, surgical dressings, medical devices, equipment, Ayurvedic, homeopathic, and the Unani medicines to mention a few. They are also required 
for manufacturing of various cosmetics and dental products. The support pharmacists and their team are making in this current scenario a pandemic is very obvious. Pharmacists have continuously been a front line of an access healthcare for patients. They are experts in medicine, whom we do not need an appointment to see. Not only supply medicines and the managing patients' medication traffic, but also providing essential services such as chronic disease prevention and the monitoring of the conditions. Pharmacists and their team are making an incredible contribution of healthcare provision during the pandemic. At the start of the pandemic, when the country was near enough total lockdown, there was an even greater dependence on pharmacists as the first point of contact to fulfill the public health care need. As many doctors had closed and the move on to online appointments, pharmacy shops or medical stores were one of the few places that were kept open for public, making pharmacists and their team a fundamental health care providers during this time. It has been an extremely busy time for a profession as a whole who have shown a great leadership trait of perseverance and diligence during this time. In the first few weeks of pandemic, the, the public turned to their pharmacists who led the prohibition of support and the advices during this time and they remain on the forefront of public health by serving as direct point of access for their patients, disseminating accurate, current, and evidence-based information regarding COVID-19 to the public. The classical example to mention are the pharmacy shops or medical stores situated here at Integral Hospital, which continue to provide its services support and the advisors to its patients, albeit COVID-19 scenario. It has, been so, so it has been an extremely busy time for the profession as a whole, because they have shown a great leadership trait of perseverance and diligence during this time. In the first few weeks of pandemic, the workload had almost tripled in some areas, adding to increased pressure and the burden to the pharmacy teams, but through the solid teamwork and the working above continued hours, they were able to manage their patient needs above and the beyond expectations that supported the entire health system. No need to keep mentioning more. As COVID has already highlighted the importance of pharmacists with regard to the roles and the support they offered and the still offering to the community. So at this juncture, I will round off by sharing a good news with you that the profession of pharmacy has gained a long awaited recognition from the whole world. And WHO itself as reliable, informed and the creative resources and the integral fight of healthcare team and the leaders within our own right. I remain Abdullah Hakam Usman from the Faculty of Pharmacy, a third year student in DFAM. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Abdullah Hakam Usman. I will feel grateful if we could have Professor M. A. Khalid, Dean of Student Welfare, be on stage between a big round of applause and deliver a remarkable speech. Honorable Pro Chancellor Dr. Sayyid Nadim Akhtar Saab, uh, Vice Chancellor Professor Akhil Saab, respected deans, heads, colleagues, student program organizer, Muazu Atiku Sanyana, and his entire dedicated team, and my very, very dear students. It gives me immense pleasure to see you all together today over here on this program of role of paramedics in healthcare which we are uh, conducting physically after a long break of paramedic, uh, this pandemics. <clears throat> well, I would not like to talk about the paramedics because we have heard excellent deliberations of our students who spoke about various allied fields which is being used in this and very uh, efficiently they have tried to highlight that each and every field is very, very important. In fact, you all are parts of a big machinery and a single part, if it's not functioning well, can hamper the efficiency of that machinery and that is paramedics. Because paramedics, para means by the side and medics means the physicians. So you are there and your role has already been proven efficiently during the current pandemics. So I uh, just want to be very brief that I wish you uh, all paramedics a great career ahead 
which is dedicated to humanity because you are all dedicating yourself to the humanity. So be prepared for it. You are going to do a great job for the world, for yourself and for the humanity. So I wish you all success and success to this grand program. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. May I have Moazu Atiku Sangina on the stage to present a certificate to one of the most important people that we have here, our chief guest of honor and also the co-chancellor of this university, Dr. Sayed Nadim Akhtar. Dr. Sayed Nadim Akhtar is always with us here. We are so much grateful for all the sacrifices you've done by providing professional lecturers and professors to this university and also well-equipped machine for practicals to the students. I have Muazzam Ibrahim Tambol on the stage to present a certificate to our respected Vice Chancellor, Professor Akil Ahmad. May I have Ahmad Tambol to present an award to Professor M.A. Khalif? Well, Altain, please come on the stage to present an award to our professor and director of academics, Professor Muhammad Hari Siddiq. May I have Murtala Tambol to come on stage and present an award to Professor MZ Idris. Muhammad Mansur Ladan, please come on the stage and present an award to our beloved principal, Dr. Ashfaq Khan. One man for all. Mala Abba, Asya Al Mustafa Aluminium, and Zainab Abdullahi, please come on stage and present a medal to Dr. Miraj Ahmad from the Department of Physiotherapy. 
and Dr. Usman Khan from the Department of Radiology. May I have Usman Tambol to be on the stage and present an award to our Vice Chancellor, Professor Ms. Bahul Hassan. May I have Ali Abu Bakr Muhammad on the stage to deliver and to give award to Director Outreach, Mr. Ghazali Sami. Mala Abba, please be on the stage to present a medal to Mr. Asak Ali from the Department of Pharmacy. He is not here. Please, can we have Assistant Professor Mrs. Sony Bramama to be on stage and have a medal from Abba Abu Bakar Tambo. Please, can we have Professor Nitian Ofadia, Assistant Professor from the Department of BNLP? Professor Adnan Ahmad from Department of Biotechnology.
Dr. Muhammad Faisal Sa, our beloved Chief Warden. Please, may I have Ms. Sony Berma to present a certificate to a group of presenters? Speech presenters, please come on the stage. Hakam Osman. Hassan Osman. Hassan Osman. Salamat to Salihu Usman. Naziru Salihu. Abu Bakar Usman. Abdul Hamid Usman. Engineer Salahuddin Abdullahi. Mustafa Abu Bakar Amanawa. May I have Dr. Ashfaq Khan to be on stage and present certificates to drama clubs? Adiva Siddiq. Mitali Mishra. Kavya Pandey. Avihash Jeshwal. Iman Shu Kumar. Abu Bakar Muhammad Sanya. Aminu Muhammad. Aminu Bella S. Jabi. Aliyu Abdul Hamid.
Mwazo atiku sanina. Aliyu Balarabi. Gazali Ilyasu Jazgoy. Sirajo Ibrahim Parma. Sadiq Garba Ila. Salmanu Sama Ila. Abdul Aziz Idris. Nusayba Kabir Benji. Bashir Siraju. Nabila Bashir. Mubarak Umar Tanku. May I have Dr. Farzan Ali to be on the stage and present certificate to short video clip team? Abdul Aziz Sanwamaku. Khadija Idris. Bashar Abdullah. Badi Atu Aliyu. Mas'ud Abu Bakr Sadiq. Ismail Muhammad Benji Megiwa. Idris Muhammad. Zainab Umar Ahmad. Nura Hali. Muhammad Shakib. Please, can we have Sadia Shagari to be on stage and present a medal to Dr. Soban Ahmad from the Department of Biomedical Engineering?
Shamsuddin Yakubu, please come on the stage and give a medal to Dr. Farzan Ali. May I have Professor Harris Siddiq on stage, please, to give certificate to the dairy fine committees. Abdul Aziz Sanwamok. Zainab Shehu Paka. Sagir Tuko. Sadiq Karba Ila. Please may I have Professor Mizbahul Hassan to be on stage and give certificates to the video editing committee. Abu Bakr Usman. Dalla Ali. Hassan Usman. Abdul Hamid Usman. Hassan Usman. May I have Dr. Ghazali Sani on the stage, please, to present certificate to our organizing committee, Siraj Ibrahim. Aisha Salman Paris. Ali Bella Marafa. Zina to Abdullahi Baharaji. Shamsuddin Yakubu. Abu Bakr Muhammad Samia. Abdul Majid Kamaluddin.
May I have Professor M.A. Khalid be on stage and present certificate of thanks to Ali Abu Bakr Muhammad. Now may I have our guest of honor and Pro Chancellor sir, to deliver a speech for students. Good afternoon and assalamu alaikum. Before I start formally, let me get two things straight out of the way. One is that it is such a pleasure to see all of you together here uh, after almost a year. I think the times are near when we shall be meeting very, very frequently, uh, learning here and celebrating here, inshallah. And the second thing is that it is quite a feeling of jealousy to know that there are at least two people in this gathering that received more applause than me, that are, who are more popular than me. One is, one is our beloved Dr. Ashfaq, and the other is, which I just got to know, our beloved uh, Mr. Usman, is it? Hassan Usman? Huh? Yeah. So please do let me know why he is so Salahuddin, right. So please do let me know why he's so popular and I will try to copy him in some, you know, way. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Aqeel Ahmed Saab, the senior deans, heads of the departments, uh, uh, director outreach, uh, and my dear students. Let me say that I have been charmed by this event. The very conceptualization, the execution, and the flair with which you conducted this event deserves a lot and lot of appreciation and applause. So I, I congratulate you all for displaying such fine skills on every front. You curated this event very, very beautifully. And it filled my chest with pride to see that you have grown so much over the last two and a half years. I remember seeing you in the very hall next to this auditorium. That was two and a half years ago, and I see you today. It is, it is like you've come to teach us rather to learn from us. Uh, your mannerisms, the confidence with which you climbed on the stage, your display of very, very fine oratory skills, your knowledge of the subject, and mostly the most important of all, the passion with which you, uh, which you displayed while mentioning either the diseases that you cure or the machines that you operate or the technologies that you use have been very, very impressive. I'm sure your family back home, your parents, 
His Excellency the Governor of your state, your scholarship board officials would be very, very proud to see you with so much of confidence and knowledge and learning and the desire to serve your people as soon as you start practicing your profession. I am happy that you could find that you uh, decided to come to Integral to learn from the vast human resources that we have, the, to absorb knowledge as much as you can, to get exposed to as many technologies as are here. And I'm sure that you will be leaders in your own right when you start practicing your profession. Please keep up this spirit of learning, of contributing very, very high. I, from the bottom of my heart, wish you all the very best in all the endeavors that you take in the future. I was happy to see and to be mentioned uh, to to hear some third year students. I don't know, maybe uh, we don't have second year students here, probably. Yeah. Some third year students come and speak about the, uh, their uh, you know, fields of study. What particularly made me anxious was when it was announced time and again, Mr. So-and-so or Miss So-and-so, final year student of that program. And it brought in a lot of anxiety to realize that it will be not long before we will have to say goodbye to you, some of you. Uh, we, you will graduate successfully, and it, it's a mixture of a happy feeling and, and a, you know, and some bit of sadness too. But anyway, such is life. We meet, we depart, we meet again, and uh, life goes on in this manner. So, with this, let me congratulate you again for this beautiful, beautiful initiative of yours. I would, I'm made to believe that it is all your thinking, your efforts, and without any pressure or without any demand, you decided to hold such an event, to bring together all these streams of uh, paramedicine together and to explain to the general public their finesse. I think this is something that the rest of us in the other faculties, especially engineering and medicine, should learn and uh, hold such programs more frequently so that we as laymen are able to understand the difference and the uh, specializations present here in every faculty. Uh, with this, I wish you all the very best Thank you for giving us uh, this great knowledge. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for honoring us. And until we see you again, and just like you say, I remain Sayyid Nadeem Akhtar. Thank you very much. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Thank you very much, sir, for your kind words. Now may I have Ali Abu Bakr Muhammad be on stage for word of thanks. Abu Bakr Muhammad. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah kathira. The Pro Chancellor of Integra University, Dr. Said Nadim Akhtar, and also the father of Integra University. Respected dignities, members of the high tables, respected colleagues, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I deem it a pleasure and privilege to propose 
the round of speech and word of thanks to everyone that are here. I am Comrade Ali Muhammad Abubakar by name, the president of Ghana, India, Sudan, and Ukrainian Sokota State Student Association. Also, the president of Ariwa Student Association in India, and also the current president of African Students in India, Lakno Chapter. Let me first of all start by giving glory to Almighty Allah that show us this great day and I can say it, unforgettable day to all Nigerian students and African students that are here in Integral University. My special thanks goes to the entire student of Integral University, especially Nigerian students. And also the organizing committee who works tirelessly day and night organizing this program. Thank you very much for that. And my special thanks goes to the Sokoto State Government under the leadership of Friendly governor, super governor, legend, Lion King, in person of Right Honorable Amin Waziri Tambual. I must give adequate thanks to His Excellency for giving us chance or opportunity to come here because without him, we are not we are not been here. He sponsored our studies, he take care of our future, so we must give adequate thanks to him. May Allah take him and grant him with genital products. I will not forget the team of Sokoto State Scholarship Board under the leadership of Honorable Altinishi Okajiji who is working day and night, convulting and the solving of problems of Sokoto State students, not only in India, in whole world. Thank you very much. I will not take much of your time because I know that uh, Pro Chancellor, uh, he's having uh, much schedules. So I would like to say, Thank you once again to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now it's time for group picture between the student and led presentations in our respective units research. Please come forward on the stage. <laughs> 